it. Don't be shy. Jolene can't wait to meet you for a trailer park Christmas. The trailer park way with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer. She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park the trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Well, hi there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen, and welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2018, where I'm showing you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, I have a calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com that you can follow along. And I would see, if I was looking at the calendar, that it says Air Fryer Magic. Now, some of you may get an air fryer for Christmas. And actually, it's one of the greatest things that I've used in a while because, you know, I do love my kitchen gadgets. But this thing is great because it kind of cuts back on the frying that you might do. And we all know that my doctor has asked me to do that. Uh, but today, we're actually going to be making something surprising in the air fryer. And it actually only uses two ingredients. It's going to be making a bagel. Yes, that's right. You can actually make bread products in the air fryer. And today we're going to be making bagels with just two ingredients. I'm going to show you how up next. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Some of you may be getting an air fryer for Christmas. These things are great. I love using my air fryer for all sorts of things in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a bread product, actually bagels. Now I know that sounds kind of fancy and we're using only two ingredients so that's not fancy at all. One of the ingredients is actually Greek yogurt. This is the fat free kind of Greek yogurt. I know that's sort of fancy. This is a cup of that and this is a cup of self rising flour. That kind of gives it a little ump to go. And I'm just going to put the actual yogurt here together with the flour and we're going to mix up a tacky type dough. Now I don't mean like the front of my trailer. I mean just kind of a slightly mixed together kind of dough and I'm going to start mixing this together and check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now that I've got a dough started, I'm just going to turn it out onto the counter which I've got some more flour here and I'm just going to roll it into a ball here and just get like a nice dough. It actually is kind of like a nice biscuit dough here and it's very surprising. It just has the yogurt in there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out to um, so I can cut it into fours and that way I can make sure that I have enough to make about four different bagels here um, with this. This dough makes about four bagels. So one, two, three, four. So now I have a piece here and what I'm going to do is just shape it around like a bagel and um, around like a loop. Um, we all know that a bagel is round and I'm going to pinch it on the other end kind of like a round. There we go. And it's just going to be just a rustic, I think I'll call that, uh, looking bagel here. And I'm going to finish the rest of these. I've already sprayed out my pan here. We're going to be popping those in there in just a moment. So let me finish these and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, there we have our little mini bagels in the sprayed out um, pan. And what we're going to do is just pop it into the air fryer. Now we are going to make sure that it's on 330 degrees. So let me go ahead and do that. And we are going to set it for 10 minutes. And we're going to check on it every now and then so they make sure that they don't burn there. And that's just going to start up and we'll check back with it in just a moment. Okay, the timer has went off and let's see if we have Oh wow, we have what appears to be little mini bagels. What I'm going to do is melt some butter and brush it up on top and we can top it with some spices. I can't wait to hear what you're going to top yours with, but I'm going to do that and taste it right up next. I'll be right back. And 
there you have it, my air fryer bagel. And I brushed a little butter up on top and put a pepper blend on there. And look at that. That looks like a cute little mini bagel that you would buy in the store. And it's just very cute. And it didn't take that long in the um, actual air fryer. And it was two ingredients. It was the yogurt and the self-rising flour. And I'm tired of talking about it. And I'm going to see what this tastes like. Y'all, this tastes like a satisfactory bagel. If I had some cream cheese right now, I'd be going through all these um, right now. Um, it tastes like an everything bagel because I put the, the actual butter in the um, pepper blend up on top. But, wow, this is, this is a winner. And we might try the regular bagels in the oven at some point. That takes a water bath and that is very complicated, but two ingredient bagels that is really amazing i can't mm. i'm gonna go get some cream cheese this is really good i hope you get a chance to make these and if you do send me pictures at jolene sugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow me hit the like button on the page tell your friends about trailer park christmas and of course download the free calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com so you can follow along because i've got a video every day until the 25th I love spending the holidays with you. Tell your friends about Trailer Park Christmas because there's more videos to come. See you back tomorrow. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that.